And good morning, everyone. This is my third attempt at this, so three times, third time's the charm, they say. Willie and Lobo, as you can see right there, someone I've known for quite some time, but really haven't known too much about them. Uh, the name of the song is Seven Veils. The name of the album, as you can see, is Siete, which also means seven. So seven might have some kind of a significance in this album. I don't know. I, I haven't listened to the whole album. I just recently got it. I know them from a various artists album that I've had for years. So this is a bit of a learning experience uh, for me too. Let's see now. I have a bit of information that I'm going to read from Wikipedia here, if you uh, will bear with me here for just a couple of seconds. Willie Royal Jr. was born in El Paso, Texas, the son of an Air Force Lieutenant Colonel. His father's job took young Royal over the world, including Turkey, Germany, and France. At the age of eight, he began classical violin lessons, quickly becoming proficient enough to become the concertmaster of his high school orchestra. Inspired by the music of Jean-Luc Ponty, Stéphane Grappelli, and It's a Beautiful Day, as well as sitting in with Greg Allman and Dickie Betts. Wow. Willie traveled the world, absorbing numerous musical styles before moving to Mexico in the 80s. Wolfgang Lobo Fink was born in the Bavarian town of Teisendorf, Teisendorf, at 18, while in the German Navy, he picked up his first guitar, listening to an album by gypsy guitarist Manitas de Plata, drew him to the music. Upon leaving the Navy, he found de Plata in a gypsy camp in southern France and spent a while with him and his people. Returning to Germany, Lobo formed a flamenco group named Lilo, Lilo touring Europe for three years and helping to popularize the modern gypsy sound. His Searches led him to uh, Granada, Spain, li living with gypsies in the caves of Sacromante and studying their ways. He traveled to Mexico in 1980 as a solo act. The pair met in San Miguel de Allende, Allende yes, in Mexico, where they were both working at Mamma Mia's restaurant. Willie on fiddle and Lobo on flamenco guitar jammed on occasion, searching for an individual sound. The owner of the local bar they were both playing in uh, suggested they perform together, and the rest, as they say, is history. So, after that long intro, Willie and Lobo, let's see what you guys got. Came up with. Though I know this, this is very well. This is, this is what was on that. Various artists. There's all kinds of styles in this. Stefan Grappelli influence a bit. What meaning that color could possibly have? I know I'm doing guitar, but you want to 
not smiling back there. <laughs> Everything's a guitar, a guitar to me. I'll play drum, drum parts on the guitar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is Willie and Lobo. I don't think I've done a video with them uh, already. I don't think I have. I might have, but uh, I'm starting to lose track. I know I can go on and, and look it up and find out if I have or not. Most things I know whether I have or not, but uh, uh, anyway, that's beside the point. The point is Willie and Lobo. Check them out. They're uh, uh, very, very interesting. If you like uh, their and their styles, change up. Like it said in the little bit of thing I read, they were inspired or influenced by you know, all kinds of different stuff. We'll be playing with all Greg Allman and Dickie Betts in one minute and Stefan Grappel in the next and uh, oh, all the other names I mentioned. So, you know, the influence is all of living in Turkey, living in Mexico, you know, <laughs> how can you not be influenced by all of that stuff? Uh, so there they are, Willie and Lobo. Thank you very much for coming on by. I am, it's a rainy, drizzly, gnarly day. We can use the rain, and I'm going to use it to make a bunch of videos. So, uh, later, gang. <laughs>